Hi everyone, this is Felicia with FP Handmade, and I am coming at you with the video for Kara Mia's Corner. She is having a Crafty Challenge 2021. She wants you to shop your stash and let's craft. So February's theme is everything we love, things we like to collect. So last week we were challenged with making a DIY sticker booklet. And let me tell you, it was a challenge for me. The sticker bucket booklet had to have a sentiment on the cover, a closure, and some type of frame. So I started off um, cutting the paper and I cut it the wrong size. So I thought, that's okay, I'll just use this size because I can adjust it. Well, that seemed to be the theme of uh, this craft for me. Everything I had to adjust, change, <laughs> or redo. I had some issues. So let me show you my do-it-yourself sticker buckle. So I chose Mickey Mouse as my theme. So here's the little booklet. And it has the Mickey Mouse on the front and his little frame. And my sentiment is uh, when you wish up on a star. So my first, one of the first problems I incurred was putting the brads to hold the booklet together. My um, chomper, I don't know what it's called. It actually kind of locked up on me when I went to uh, cut a hole in the booklet. And it tore my booklet page trying to get it off. So... I was kind of thrown and I was like, stick with it, you can do it, you can do it. And so then I tried to use my brads that I had and two of them broke. And I thought, okay, this is telling me something. So it just, issues kept on happening. So instead of having a brad as a closure, which I wanted to do, I just used this little clip here. I figured it's fine. I'm kind of making this book for my little nephew who likes Mickey Mouse. So... I'm just kind of going with it. So simple, easy. Didn't want to go out and buy anything. So this is me shopping my stash office product. <laughs> so when you um here I have the you know polka dot paper for you know kind of look Disney like. And then when you open it up, I put some washi tape on the inside cover, and then that's my first sticker of Mickey Mouse. And then I hope to get more stickers to add to this book. That's what the book is for. But I used what I had currently, and then I put some stickers here. And these stickers actually were from the Dollar Tree. I had purchased one of those wall decor strips that you can buy, and it had a, a, some really cute uh, sentiments on there. I think these sent, uh, little stickers came from Daiso, like over a year ago maybe. And then these were just in a little sticker book that I had. Um, I thought these were really cute because they show Mickey Mouse in so many different outfits and time periods. So there's Steamboat Willie, you know, if that was the first Mickey Mouse. And then I opened it up and I had some more stickers and maybe I'll embellish it some more before I give it to him. And then when you open up the center, I cut the Minnie Mouse top of her head and Mickey Mouse top of his head, the ears, for the middle of the page. And this is where I had to improvise, impro what is it, emphasize? No, improvise. <laughs> I had to put um, some glitter paper here because I had stapled the book together since my brads failed on me. So it kind of hides the, the staples in it. Plus it gives it a little gleam. And then you open it up here and here comes Minnie. She's uh, in Paris over there on the right, and then her and Mickey Mouse here. And then I had these, and these were some stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, the little, um, I can't think what they're called, a little, little baby Mickey and Minnie. And then I have a, a blank page to cover it. And then on this last page, I have a big Mickey. And then I have this um, washi tape. Well, it's not actually washi tape, it was, it's kind of plastic tape, these little, um, tape holders that I got. I don't know where I picked, purchased those at. And then the back cover, and then I hope to find a cute sticker to put on the back. But this is my do-it-yourself sticker book. Um, tell me what you think below. Thanks for watching. And you need to check out Karamita's uh, Corner's um, 
channel if you're interested in joining. It's a lot of fun, and, and this week I can definitely say it was a challenge. It was a crafty challenge. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.